Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm doing a quick update and video on the range trip yesterday of the M70 AB2 contractor rifle, uh, the modifications I've done to it and how they actually worked out in application at the range. So we're going to start out at the top, just work our way down. So a part's been fined here at my house. I uh, J-Mac two chamber muzzle brake, the Midwest light Midwest light thingamajigger has been on it. I had it down here, moved it up here because it was casting too many shadows down there. Got the nice rattle for some ASMR there. That's a uh, factory that increases accuracy by 10 points. I did not have the Atero mount on it yesterday at the range, but when I got home, I realized I wanted an optic on it. So I did put the Atero mount on there with a the hollow sun and got a nice co witness there. A little bit more rattly rattle for you and the Definitive Arms adapter. So uh, removing the underfolding stock, if you're not familiar with it, three pins, about three and a half minutes, and about 45 minutes to reinstall with a bunch of cuss words. But really, if you get used to the application and the process, it goes by pretty quickly. I already had the Midwest Industries um, bar here that I was using as a brace. I bought their stock, which is 3.75 inches. I was supposed to get the 4.75 inch long one, but an inch really does make a big difference when you're talking about the shoulder uh, circumference on the shoulder. And I already had the KNS little adapter pick thing here. So I didn't want to spend like a lot of money on any more money on this rifle than what it was initially, which was like 579. But this thing is extraordinarily fun to shoot. Even before I put the Atero mount on it, I'm really looking forward to getting back out and running it with the Atero mount. So I do have footage that will be uploaded of this thing running at the range yesterday and how flat and smooth shooting it is now in this configuration. Um, I do have two of these. The other one I'm leaving in a complete stock configuration. Um, but this one is uh, just probably going to stay like this. I don't know about keeping the Atero mount. I may end up going with an Ultimac, but for the time being, I have an Atero on my uh, Mini Draco and I really like it. So I think I'm going to leave it in this configuration due to how the, the optic has no nothing to do with how flat it shoots, but this thing is shooting extraordinarily smooth and flat right now. I did replace the recoil spring and the combination of that, the ALG recoil spring, no, I'm sorry, Wolf recoil spring and the uh, JMAC up here. It just tuned it to where it is just running super, super smooth now. Really good shooting rifle. Now, the hinge is really tight back here on this. Um, I had worn, the hinge on this was worn out. And I need to compare it to the original one. But what looks like they did is it looks like they added a notch here and they increased the tension of the spring to where it locks in a lot tighter now. So I do need to look at the original to see what it was like. And there's the definitive arms. And there's the little JMAC two chamber brake there. So here she is in all of her glory, and the co-witness on that is just, just nice. So, um, there she is. Hope you enjoy the footage of the range time. Have fun picking apart my stance. I, I'm still working on it. I'm getting back there. I'm going to do another video, an explanation, or kind of uh, going through some of the health things again. But... At least I'm back out at the range. I'm having fun again, uh, which is something that I had been missing even prior to, you know, dealing with some of the things I'm dealing with. I was not having fun uh, with my collection as much as I am now. So that's a that's thanks to you guys and the level of engagement. A lot of cats popping from here over onto Instagram and talking. The goon tape here, you can tell that it's getting nice and dirty. Look at that. I'm getting some nice grit and grime on there. The goon tape does wonders. I got some nice, you know, the sweat right there. Um, the weather here in southern Ohio, yesterday it was 87 degrees with 60% humidity. It was miserable. So the goon tape does good on these slick grips. And yeah, I could replace the grip with something, but I'm not going to because the grip looks cool. And that's half the, that's half the battle here, right? So here she is. Tell her she's pretty. You can lie to her. It's fine. She won't know. But you can tell her she's pretty because she is, and she's running amazingly, by the way. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Go out. Enjoy your gear. Enjoy what you spent your money on. Have fun. When I'm talking about gear, I'm talking about buying a you know Wilson tennis racket bag, 
or you know getting a pattern 83 rig just because they're freaking cool or more importantly the chai com get you a chai com rig you're not going to regret it right now um ak options desert fox sale desert fox sales has a bunch of chai com three cell uh, so type 56 and type 81 chai com rigs in go get one 24 bucks you won't regret it great purchase now stare awkwardly at the camera for the outro. Is it called an outro? What's it actually called? I don't know. Anyway. All right. So we have the M70 AB2 contractor rifles back out here at the range. The definitive arm stock adapter midwest industries brace and just going to give it a test run croatian mags these things have been a piece of shit all day long i haven't got them to run in any firearm and i have no idea why i own them except for my credit score drop by owning them anyway we're going to try this one this configuration see how much more enjoyable she is to shoot Alright, so the JMAC brake that I'm using on this is freaking amazing. The Definitive Arm stock adapter with the brace here makes this thing very enjoyable to shoot. It's pretty much dead on at this point. And we had a Croatian mag that actually ran for a full 30 rounds. That's got to be a record. to contact Midwest Industries to get a new hinge for this brace or brace the stock. Uh, the hinge had became so loose that it would just be able to fold on its own. Midwest sent me two hinges and this is the one with the replacement and it is much much tighter. It's a little bit different design so thanks Midwest.